Yo, what is up guys? So for today, I'm going to be bringing you the Season of the Rivals Sources of Heroes gameplay trailer for Destiny 2. And if you hear thunder in the background, I live in Florida. It's horrible down here. Don't ever come. So, you know, just to let you know. So I'm not going to let the rain stop me because this just dropped and I'm definitely wanting to post this video right now because that would be the best. So. I know that this is a strange time for a celebration. But the Solstice of Heroes is a time to honor the heroic acts of the Guardians of the Tower. And Guardian. Thank you for all you've done. Let's look at the trailer real quick. <clears throat> Not gonna lie to you guys, the armor is looking pretty cool. I think the Titans are gonna win this for sure. The Hunters, the armor looks kind of like last year's. And the Warlocks are close second. I think the Hunters have the, the weakest armor set this season. But once I get the armor in my hands, then I'll actually like take a closer look. But that's just my general thoughts on it right now. And honestly, this scene right here, it almost looked like last year's scene. And this is going to be a really fast video, honestly. I'm not going to be... Actually, we could go through the TWAB, I guess, but it's I'm not going to go through it extensively. Essentially, all it, bo all it boils down to is they show us, like, the glows. They tell us that if I, if I read it right, then... Um, if I read it right, then apparently we're going to be able to buy all of the shaders or all of the the ornaments for every character, just one buy. So instead of buying it for each, like for your hunter, your warlock, your titan, you just have to buy it once and you have it unlocked for all the characters. Not only that, but apparently these are ornaments and we could put them on any armor 2.0, which if that's the case, then the ornaments might have more value than what i thought now we haven't seen how much any of it costs last year it was three thousand bright dust if i remember correctly i would not be surprised if they jack it up to almost two three times as that because you're getting it for three characters and obviously you're going to be getting uh what is it solar arc void plus the white one which you get for free uh and then you get a stasis one in the future I don't know if you have to buy that one or not, but if they do raise it up to like, what is it? Three, six, nine. So to, if they raise it to like maybe 8,000, I would assume or 9,000, that'd be kind of fucked up. I understand their thought process, but I don't know, man. I just miss when events were actually eventful and not just here's my money. Give me my cool stuff. Like, I'm not going to talk shit about people who buy this because most, honestly, it's your money do whatever you want but i definitely don't want to hear you bitch about how the game doesn't have any rewards or any of that sort of thing because you're feeding into it you're you're feeding into the whole thing about buying stuff instead of earning it so that's just my hot take on that like i definitely don't want to throw shade whatever man it's your money but i i get tired when i hear people bitch about oh the reward structure in this game sucks this sucks this sucks but it's like but you're still throwing money into into the store like at least i buy collector editions like that's it which is another reason why i don't want to buy store stuff because i'm like i already destroyed a bunch of money on my collector's edition but that's pretty much it like i think the i think the the trailer is cool i think it was a little too short to be quite honest i do kind of wish that we saw a little bit more maybe i don't know maybe show us the rare armor maybe show us other things i don't know it feels too short to me not only that but i would have loved to see more rewards not eververse items rewards i would love to see some other things here and there i would have loved to see like maybe they give us a a weapon that has the sources of the heroes armor look i would have loved that maybe give us a whole armor set i know that we're probably most likely going to get the travelers chosen in this uh in this event and that is cool i just hope that it's a cool quest line not just like here you go this is it uh 
I definitely am not even thinking about the bounties. Dude, the bounties are going to be garbage. The actual quest steps to get all the armor is going to be tedious. I've gotten every armor set for each character, for each of the Souls of Heroes. And let me tell you, it does not get easier. It gets worse and worse. After your third character, you're just kind of like, please, please end me. I need, I end my life, extinguish it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is very, this is going to be a very short video. And are you guys excited for Souls of Heroes? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the content so far. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, be safe and be healthy. And I will see you guys later.